What's up YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. Hope everybody's doing well out there on this Saturday evening. I'm doing real good myself and I also hope that you guys has had a very nice relaxing Shabbat today and got some uh, praise and worship in as well. Uh, in case you guys are wondering who this uh, man is right here, um, his name is Gene Jakes Muyumbe Tamfun. Okay. And uh, actually, what he is is a uh, Congolese microbiologist. All right. He is the general director of the Democratic Republic of the Congo Institute. Okay. Of national uh, affairs or what have you. And about, oh, maybe a week ago or so, I did a video about two. Uh, subhuman uh i guess french doctors okay who figured that um the actual vaccine for the covid 19 you know should be tested on um the people in some parts of africa all right well it turns to find out mr uh gene jacobs Mwimbe, okay he comes along and say, okay, they have been chosen. You know, this institute has been chosen to actually carry out these tests. All right. Now, basically, who you're looking at is one of the main uh, sellouts, you know, in Africa. All right. Basically, this is one of the main sellouts. And this, you know, they sell out for basically riches and privilege. All right. They sell their people out. For riches, privileged women in other countries. They are a part of what is called, I believe, is the Illuminati. You know, um, they are part of the big wheel that's spinning to carry out um, death and destruction and what have you in these end times. You know, now let me show you exactly, thanks to the sister and shout out to her, uh, Kendra Asvedos. For giving me this story right here. This is what it all led to. Now, thanks to Mr. Gene Jakes uh, Mwembe Tafun, um, seven children has been killed by having that vaccine tested on them, as it says here. Well, it says, did a COVID 19 vaccine kill? Uh, seven children in Senegal, Africa. All right. And again, Kendra, thanks a lot for sending me this story right here. But it's one of those stories right there. You know, I'm pretty much connecting the dots on, you know, with the uh, first, you know, with the so the French doctors saying what they said about the vaccine being uh, tested on African people. Then all of a sudden, Mr. Gene Jacobs, uh, Moonbay, Temfoon, all these names, <laughs> you know. Basically, coming up out of the blue, talking about we've been chosen, you know, for to conduct these vaccine tests, basically, on our people. Now you got seven dead babies, all right? Now, to get into this story, a YouTube um, channel named Angie Fame, well, fam, posted a video that has been uploaded on April 6th telling a story about seven children who died from coronavirus vaccine well, vaccinations in Senegal, Africa. In the video, the woman stated, Today somebody called my husband a nurse. A nurse told my husband that seven infants had died in Senegal due to this coronavirus vaccine. I just don't know why you must collect this, uh, well, collect this when you know that it's not being tested. You want to use your people as guinea pigs or lab rats because of what? Because of what? Do they give you money to kill? If you kill all your people in your land, who will remain to govern? You will end up going to the ground like you end up and falling like zero level. Okay. Um. She then continued, let me tell you how this happened. This whole thing is in, in French, 
but my husband speaks French, so be well. See, excuse me. So he understands everything, and then he told me, "Do you know that there's this guy, a Senegalese, well, Senegalese uh, guy that went to this uh, family in the village somewhere in Senegal, trying to convene the well, convince the family." Of seven kids. She went on to say. That the man. Said. Oh. Let us give them. The coronavirus vaccine. It's going to be well. Told them. Every sort. Of thing. And trying to earn. Their trust. Hmm. Then they gave him. The consent to vaccinate. The kids. Do you know what happened? All of them died, like, almost immediately. <sighs> well, you know, see, this is the thing, is this. Um, you don't let nobody, you know, test vaccinations or what have you on your children. You don't let nobody test vaccinations on you. You know what I mean? Uh, and from what I hear, uh, this so-called uh, mandatory vaccination, you know, if people, you know, I'm hearing a lot about that. But guess what? It's not going to happen here. I don't give a damn what. They try what they say. Well, you're not going to be able to, um, uh, 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 whatever, you know, participate in the economy. You know what I mean? Any longer, you're going to be this and that and this. Well, I know when it comes down to that, this is just the word of the most high coming into fruition, you know, or not, uh, like in the end days, in the end times, you know, when the antichrist come, which I do believe is basically here already. You know, um, you're not going to be able to buy, sell, or trade, you know, for the ones that don't take the mark, okay? That's what this all boils down to, see? So, therefore, you know, I guess, you know, this is it's going to be a real, you know, uh, uh, see how much you really trust the Most High, you know, because you can't take that mark, because if you take that mark, you are damned, you're done. That's just all there is to it, so. But to continue, it says, fact-checked, a recent post by AFB, Fact check, see this link below. Senegalese, well, yeah, Senegalese children did not die from a coronavirus vaccine, which does not yet exist. The article stated that a Facebook post shared thousands of times claimed seven children died in Senegal, uh, Senegal um, after being given a COVID-19 vaccine. This is false. Scientists are still working to find a vaccine and Senegal's health ministry told AFB the incident never happened. The video in the past, excuse me, in the post eventually shows people gathering after they heard rumors that a door-to-door -door salesman was vaccinating locals. Well, you know, I, I'm, I'm going to tell you this. There could be some truth to this, you know, and validity to this story right here. You know, that that actually happened to those children. And these people are actually basically just uh, trying to cover shit up. Damage control, if you will. That's basic from what I'm thinking, you know. But to continue, on the other hand, two French doctors have sparked outrage after they discussed on live television that Africa is the best destination to conduct tests for COVID-19 vaccines. The viral video was shared on social media where one of the doctors named John, well, Jean Paul Mira posted, no, proposed the idea of testing the vaccine on the African population. When some Africans learned about this, many of them strongly reacted and expressed their disapproval about the suggestion stating, your well, you racist. Africa is not your playground. One Twitter named Rim Sarah Halun, uh, Aluan, whatever, a PhD student and French researcher posted, this is horrific. Two French doctors on live television are discussing how a potential new treatment against COVID-19 should be first tested in Africa. Where no... I mean, we're no mass, no treatment, no uh, renovation. Yeah, renovation. 
uh, the same way experimental treatments for AIDS was done on prostitutes. Hmm. Well, they've been using Africa for a testing ground for many, many years anyway. Many centuries, you want to know the truth about it. So, yeah, it's time to stand up, you know, and fight back. You know, either fight, you know, die fighting or whatever, or just give in and die. You know, best thing to do is, you know, fight back, die, whatever, you know. Um, this is not the first time that Africa has have fallen victim to the reckless and uh, heartless medical experiment being done by major health institutions, well, institutions. In 2014, Kenyan doctors found an anti-fertility agent in, U in UN. Uh, tetanus vaccine in a mass sterilization program. The Lifetime, uh, LifetimeNews.com reported this with the ex well, excerpt saying, this World Health Organization campaign, campaign is not about erating or eradicating uh, neonatal, well, neonatal tetanus, but a well coordinated forceful population control mass sterilization exercise using a proven fertility regulation uh, vaccine. They also stated that WHO's Kenya office and several WHO media contacts in Washington, D.C. failed to respond to life site news inquiries over a 24-hour period. You know, what may really, really gets me though, what really, really angers me is that you always talk about bastards, talking about population control. If you want to control the population, if you really have that in you and you're so passionate about population control, kill yourself. Because other than that, you ain't got a goddamn thing to do with who father, who the father has on the planet. You know, if you up and breathing and you talking about there needs to be population control, well then hell, it's off yourself. If you're that fucking passionate about it. That's just the way I feel. But to continue. Meanwhile, in April 7th, Business Insider also reported that a that a potential coronavirus vaccine funded by Bill Gates is set to begin testing in people. It also proceeded claiming healthy volunteers in Philadelphia and Kansas City, Missouri, will begin to test an experimental coronavirus a vaccine starting this week. The small Pennsylvania-based biotech and evil pharmaceuticals received regular, well, regulatory clearance to begin testing. The Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, along with other nonprofits, have poured fund, well, funding into Envo's vaccine project. Okay, they had this all planned, people. You know, they first, I mean, uh, I mean, in my opinion, uh, they released this deadly virus. You understand what I'm saying? Just to actually kill people and then put fear, you know what I'm saying, in, in everybody else. And then they was having the vaccine ready, up and ready. Well, you got to take this vaccine right here if you're sick or whatever, you know, in order for you guys to be able to still function in society, you know, and participate in economical, I mean, economics, okay? This was all planned. It had to be, you know? But one thing I can say is this. It's going down just like the Most High said it would. And um, the plagues may have not came directly from the Most High, but the Most High did prophesy these things that happen, okay? So therefore, we see it go down as he said it would. And this is the bad part about it. This is all the bad and most frightening parts about it, but there's more to come, okay? But rest assured and rejoice people that's in the faith that the good part is coming too. You see, the wicked ones will be destroyed and there will be, you know, heaven on earth and there's all that stuff. It, it, we ain't gonna have to worry about that stuff no more, okay? The good part, think about as, you, as we go through the bad part of the prophecy, okay? Remember to keep your mind on the prize. Eye on the prize, okay? And and, and uh, be ready to, to go into the good part of the prophecy. That's what matters, okay? Now, in conclusion here, it says Bill, Gate is, Bill Gates 
is one of the most influential people who can order mandates to who? If you are, well, if you ask, if you ask why, here's the reason. In a 2017 report, uh, what's that? Political, that, uh, political point EU stated, over the past demands, uh, excuse me, wow, let me see it. Okay, I better get some glasses. <laughs> over the past decades, all right, the world's richest man, have become the world's health organization's second biggest donor, second only to the United States and just above the United Kingdom. This largest, yeah, largest gives, well, let me see what this say. Yeah, I think it is. Largest gives him um, the ostracized influence over its agenda. One of the, well, one that could grow as the U.S. and the U.K. threaten to cut funding if the agency doesn't make a better investment case. All right. In 2018, um, ModernGhana.com reported Bill Gates has been showing, you know, showering vast sums of money on the World Health Organization. See? Who? putting him in a position to shape his global infection disease policy and play a major role in the Ebola outbreak, it has emerged. In addition, the Gates Foundation gave up to US, uh, yeah, USS $75 million to an organization such as UNICEF, and the International Foundation of the Red Cross, as well as to fund, well, fund the development of Ebola vaccines. But these funds are small. Well, these funds are small change compared to the $2 billion that Bill Gates Foundation has given who between 1998 and 2014, making Bill Gates the second lar largest donor after the USA. All right. Wow. Well, let me tell you this, Mr. Bill Gates. You are basically acting on behalf of the Most High, although you are acting against the Most High. <laughs> you being used like that. And like I said before, you and the major players, all of y'all, y'all gonna burn with the wicked one, the devil himself, and his angels. The fire is already prepared for you. You know, you can do all this wrong right now, but I'm going to tell you, you will be weeping. You will be the ones, some of the ones with weeping and gnashing of teeth. Okay, just so you know. I don't give a damn how much monopoly money that you have here now. And you do. This is what it's all about. You know, it's all what it's all about. You have monopoly money. This green dollar that everybody so covers and chases, you understand, simply because the value that is put on everything that you need to preserve your life. You know what I'm saying? One day ain't gonna mean a damn thing. You see what I mean? All that shit's going in the fire. But y'all tell me what y'all think about this story right here. I'm interested in hearing y'all thoughts, views, and opinions on it. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And this is James. And I'm out. Peace. Oh, remember, please, people, remember to live your life as though we are being watched. Okay? And I'm out. Peace.